Welcome back to Check the Facts. Once again, this one's for all the people who are reluctant to get up off their butts and learn something. Back when I was in high school, I had a philosophy class and my um, instructor, he would never go a day without teaching us Greek. He used Greek to clarify almost everything. I didn't appreciate it back then, but I do now, because from what I know about Greek, there are two words floating around that are completely misused. The first is homophobia, and the second is Islamophobia. You cannot be either one or the other without being totally and completely irrational in the head and having a severe fear about homosexuals and Islam. The term Islamophobia especially is used so much in the media and it's not even the right term. And I dare say the New Zealand massacre was not done out of fear, irrational fear actually. It was done out of hate. For anyone who's never seen it, this is the Greek alphabet. There are 24 symbols. Do not compare it to the English alphabet. It is not the same. Fear in Greek is phobia. Look at the symbols. They spell phobos. And that's where we get the suffix phobia from. You could have agoraphobia, arachnophobia, photophobia. This word specifically means irrational fear. It takes fear to a whole different level. And in some people's heads, this is real stuff. So someone may absolutely love going out in the sun and they think nothing more of a beautiful day. But in someone else's mind, the sun is out to get them. The sun is going to fry them. The sun is going to do something horrible. And they are so incredible incredibly afraid because the sun is the enemy. There are definitely people who have Islamophobia and it would be those who are in harm's path, those who live in Muslim-dominated countries, and they have every right to have it. On this page, I clarify it again. It says it's an irrational fear and then it gives a list of phobias. You can find this on my sources page. Just in case, here's more clarification. Fear, dread, terror, something causing flight. So if phobos is not the right word, then what is, I bet you're asking yourselves? Well, here it is. The symbols are pronounced misos, which means hatred, or misei, which means hate. Miso, mis, and misia is defined as hate, hater, hatred, disgust for, revulsion of, contempt for, abhorrence, and that's definitely closer to what Western people feel. Here's more clarification. And this guy is smart. He actually questioned this himself and decided to look into it. And he is right. Phobia is a fear. So Islamophobia means fear of Islam. And it doesn't only mean fear of Islam. It's irrational fear. And that means you have an irrational state of mind. However, people in the West, they're pretty rational. So this is not the right term to use. People are angry they have hatred, they have disgust for Islam. So the term would be Islamomisos or Islamomisia. Someone who hates Islam would be an Islamomisiac. Or as Americans would pronounce it, Islamomisiac. Kind of like amnesiac person who lost their memory. The difference is that people are rational, so you cannot say that someone has Islamophobia when they are in their right mind. That person is an Islamomisiac. They have Islamomisia deriving from the Greek word misos. I definitely hope journalists see this because they really need to do better. Educate yourself!